Hey guys! Oh. <laughs> it's coffee time. Welcome. Oh, are you proud? We've done about half of them. I'm doing the other half in the morning and then I'm going to edit them tomorrow. So we're going to get it up for TY Thursday. I'm really excited about it. And once again, you guys have shocked me with the level of ingenuity you have in sending me things. Um, really enjoying it so far. So I'm excited to open up the rest of them. Lots of Sherlock cat themed things, which I'm totally cool with. Oh, Sherlock kitters. It was so funny because a lot of the packages were really loud. Like they made so much noise. And the entire time Sherlock just slept, he slept through the whole thing. He was like, whatever. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. I got really nervous because normally when they're packing peanuts around, he like tries to eat them. So when they're over there, were packing peanuts. I would immediately put them into a trash bag because I was like, nope, I don't want you being able to get access to these. So he had nothing to play with. He didn't really care. He was like, I'm just going to lay here and snooze for a while. Oh, kidders. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so adorable. Yeah. I've been training him to lay here because if you remember, I was trying to keep him from walking into this area at all. Like, he could sit here, but not anywhere beyond that. Um, and it turns out that he's totally cool with laying on this side, because that means that he still gets to, like, walk through here if he wants. Uh, so he's been totally fine with it. I put, like, a big balled-up blanket. One of the blankets that he loved when he was a kitten. Put a big balled-up blanket there, and so he's been walking across and laying on it. And I'm like, yay! I'm so happy. And I've been making sure to pet him a lot while he lays there so that he knows that I will give him all the lovin's if uh, he lays in the right spot. And so he's like, all right, cool. I'm just going to nap here for a while. And I'm like, good job, kitty. I was just about to say something to you and I can't remember what it was. It was like midway through that story. I was like, oh, you should totally tell him about this. And then I lost it. I lost it somewhere along the way. I started watching American Horror Story. And don't get me wrong, I love horror stuff. So I got really excited for this because it's supposed to be like a horror movie, but in a series instead. And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. So far, it just makes me really uncomfortable and not like interesting uncomfortable, just like Mm, sort of uncomfortable. There are lots of elements to it that really interest me. So I'm going to keep watching it. But I watched two episodes, and both of them have made me go, uh. <laughs> at some point during them, I'm like, this is weird. This is, this is weird. So I'm going to stick with it because it's one of those shows where everybody either says, oh, it's so good, or they say, wow, it's terrible. So <laughs> like, well, I should give it a shot because who knows? Apparently... Um, there's a cinema that we used to go to when we first moved here, when we lived at our old place and it was torn down and, uh, and now it's been built back up and apparently now it's like a really fancy schmancy, like dinner theater sort of a thing, which I love. Um, there are lots of those in Salem. I used to go to like dinner theaters in Salem all the time. It was actually more of like cinema pubs. So you'd walk in and you could like get a beer if you wanted and then order your food and then you go in and it's all of these like really janky chairs we're comfortable but not like new by any standard and then these huge wooden tables and you just wait and they bring you your food and you'd watch a terrible movie and it was awesome so that's what I'm imagining right now but I feel like probably since it was just rebuilt and it's in LA it's probably gonna be all fancy schmancy schmoozy um, but Ro wound up going tonight and she got home and she was like, oh man, oh man, guys, <laughs> the cinema that we all used to go to like way back in the day, it's rebuilt and now it looks all crazy. And I was like, oh dang. So I might have to go and try that out at some point. I can't remember what cinema it's called, so I'm not very helpful to you. <sighs> yeah, this is going to drive me insane. What was... What's the other thing that I was going to talk about? Maybe if I just sit here like this for a second. Mm. Mm. I can't remember. Oh, that's so frustrating. 
And now I'm going to be like preoccupied mentally with it until I remember it. And that's so sad. Um, so I'm going to be, I made kind of an impulse decision. <laughs> um, I'm going to be leaving, uh, on Thursday because I'm going to the East Coast so that I can see The Mystery of Edwin Drood on Broadway because it is my favorite musical ever. And I know that it's not going to tour. I know that it won't be popular enough for it to tour because it's never been a popular musical, but it's my favorite one. Uh, so I will be out there for a couple of days. I'm staying over there for the weekend. So I'm really excited to see that play. Oh my gosh. It's my favorite play ever. Every time somebody's been like, why are you going over there? I'm like, oh, <laughs> obviously you haven't heard. I mean, I have friends out there, obviously, but you haven't heard that Mystery of Edwin Drood is in town. <laughs> wow, where have you been? It's great. It's a choose-your-own-adventure musical. It's so fantastic. It's my favorite. <laughs> and I love it so much. I can't wait. I can't wait to watch it. Hmm. But yeah, um, so, hi. Do you remember what I was going to say? Probably not. It's going to be one of those videos where the entire time I'm like, what? What? And then I never remember it. Hmm. Hmm. One of my professors used to tell me that the best way to remember something was just to say whatever words come into your mind. Like, just say them as a huge stream of consciousness, and then eventually you'll find the right word. Every time I try it, it's just, it devolves into butts, 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 butts. I can't, like, <laughs> I know that it's not honest, but, you know, how sometimes your brain just, like, sticks to a word that it loves and thinks is funny, and then it doesn't go anywhere from there. It's like, oh, yellow toilet pee butts, 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 and that's, it's just where it stays. Um, okay, let's try it. Wait, let's try it. Where do we start? Cat, Black, Sherlock, Detective, Watson, Doctor, Dentist, Teeth, White, Yellow, Toilet, Butt. <laughs> there it is. We got there. Honestly, I kind of meta that. <laughs> That was a meta game because the second I said yellow, I was like, well, now I have to go toilet. <laughs> it's not that toilet was necessarily the first word I thought of. It was just, well, there's an obvious place I have to go from here. So I ruined that. I'm sorry. choked <laughs> oh I'm so dumb <laughs> oh well <laughs> this seems like a good note to end on if I remember it um we'll talk about it tomorrow I'll write it down a lot supposed to know I don't know you're all wonderful. Don't ever try to slurp your coffee for a laugh because you'll choke on it. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>